Hey guys, I am so excited to introduce you to my friend Nathan, who has to me the best kombucha on the planet. And I gotta tell you, I made it 40 years ago, okay? We used to give the um, mother away to different people. You weren't allowed to sell it. And it's come a long way. And my friend Nathan has done the job right. He has the best kombucha on the planet, as ev evidenced by my friend Johnny Juicer, who comes to see me just for the kombucha. <laughs> Gotta agree, it's really, really good stuff. We're excited to share the day with you, so stay tuned. I feel like a kid in a candy store. This is Nathan. This is the man right here. Hi. <laughs> So explain to everybody exactly what kombucha is. What kombucha is, okay. Uh, I like to bring it down to the most basic, simple element. Kombucha is a probiotic drink made from tea. So simply tea, probiotics, but what happens is you, we make a batch of tea with sugar. The probiotics eat uh, the sugar and turn it into beneficial acids and more probiotics. Simply put, that's what it is. Uh, another way to look at what kombucha is, is uh, an organic energy drink, for instance. The um, beneficial acids uh, stimulate different vital organs in the body, help the body to detoxify itself, and also metabolize food. So it's a metabolic aid, uh, it's also uh, a detoxifying aid. Could I add one thing, please? Sure. And you just have to know that probiotics are the beginning of life. This is life. So people don't understand when they talk about probiotics, this is what starts life. Thank you. Yeah, you know, there's so much that goes on in the gut. Um, a, lo a lot of people are already aware um, that disease starts in the gut. We get sick because of imbalances in the gut. Um, I like to think that the, uh, the, the immune, immune system starts in the gut and if, if your immune system is strong, you can encounter the common cold and lots of different uh, microbes in the world and nothing, no problem, you know? All right, so and what got you into kombucha? Okay, um, well, when I was about 25, which is about 10 years ago now, um, I was at a turning point in my life and I basically just woke up to the good food movement, organic food, local farming, uh, and I could see the truth in it. So that truth really resonated deep inside of me and brought up this passion um, and then tapped into my own entrepreneurial ways. I started making juice and exploring um, different modalities in the food and beverage world um, that had to do with uh, superfoods, uh, concentrating nutrients, uh, and, and affecting this, this body. So um, kombucha was a hit, and the people said yes to kombucha. So I learned along my way, you really got to focus in on one thing and just do one thing your best. And so uh, that's what's gotten me this far along here today.
Back. This is our simple filler machine. It's an overflow, uh, gravity-fed machine. So we pop the bottles up there. We pump the kombucha in. It's got a flow, keeps it full, and then it just fills the bottles right to the top. Real simple machine. Very cool. This is our... What do we got here? This is the... Coffee? This is the poor tea that we oh, use. Tea. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, all the... Smell does it smell good? All oh, the poor incredible. tea. Let me smell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It comes from the Yunnan province in China. Oh, wow. It's a tea completely different than any other tea. It goes... It's it not undergoes, your black tea. Right, it's not your typical black tea. Uh, in China, they would call your typical black tea red tea but they call this dark tea. This undergoes an actual microbial fermentation process which changes the compounds in the tea and produces a completely different tea experience. I also found when I was in China, there are different parts of the mountains where they pick the tea that make a difference too. And I imagine yours is from the good parts. I mean, they don't... Let's show him Nathan's genius. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is what I put together. Nice. So we got to keep the kombucha in the right mood lighting, you know, we've got to keep everything really nice where it's sensitive to energy. So um, I like to make sure that the color's right, the temperature's right. So different colors affect right. the mood of the... <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And this yeah. is why you're drinking the best. Yes, exactly. Well, now I see. Yes. So we've got the pile of batches in the tanks over here. Um, and we, we don't have a brew going right now. We're in between processes for the holidays. We're bringing in Right, I know I got my last delivery. Uh-huh. Um, over here in this process, we make the pilot batches. It takes uh, about six weeks to produce the pilot batch, and then it goes over into a brew process uh, in one of these tanks. 2018, we'll have three of these tanks, um, all the same. And that process is another three weeks. And yeah. after the six week process over there, the three week process over here, it goes into the finishing tanks. This is where we flavor, we and add we all, of our, all of our- Amazing. We yeah. add all of our natural, raw, organic, whole food ingredients for flavors. Um, we bring the ginger and turmeric over to a local juice bar that has a cold press. They press everything for us and we pour it in raw. Uh, we extract black pepper, we extract um, different different things for flavors. So the spearmint leaf, the holy basil leaf, uh, we use the strong kombucha vinegar product that we produce to actually extract the flavors and put into the kombucha. Wow. We do the same thing with the Palo Santo wood chips. Currently, we don't use any natural or organic flavor additives at all. We use all whole food ingredients. Wow, amazing. After that process, uh, it takes about a week to let the kombucha finish in flavor. Then we package it. Uh, the kegs get filled right in here. The bottles get filled in the other room. Uh, and then it undergoes, uh, I guess what we call a bottle conditioning process. So then the kombucha finishes in the kegs and bottles at brew house temperatures until it's the perfect exact right amount of effervescence and then it's immediately refrigerated and it's Isn't amazing take... amazing yeah, here so I'll open this up this is one of the pilot batch cultures so you can actually see the, the kombucha cultures that we use to brew the kombucha here we go oh i can wow, jump in that's and a swim biggest scoby i've ever seen in my life <laughs> nice i'm gonna wow Put a little glove on here, and then if you can, if you can see, nice kombucha culture. Wow! Oh, wow! That's it. That's sweet. All right. So what do we have in here? All right. Look, this look. is the kombucha cooler. Boom. We got kegs. Wow. Stat
kombucha keg. I love it. I love it. That's sweet. Sure. Well, one of the things that I experienced, I've gone out and tried lots of different kombuchas. Every when I open a kombucha, it's just. Yeah. Well, there's there's no, historically there's been a lot of them that you know erupt and explode, but now the industry's developed a little bit, and what I find is like barely any fish, just a little bit of sparkle, and that's nice. Um, and I think it's that way. It is nice. It is nice. It's nice because your clothes don't get. Um, <laughs> full of kombucha, but that's okay. We want yeah. to hear why it's right. Yeah, yeah so really, um, the, it's challenging to get the perfect fizz every time. So, you know, while there's still fluctuation, maybe one's a little under fizzy, one's a little over fizzy once in a while, um, we really try to get a good fizz, a good experience every time. Do any flavors have more fizz than others? Um, every flavor has more fizz than others. Oh, <laughs> that's our answer. Uh, that's, that's, that's our it, it actually fluctuates batch to batch. Every flavor of every batch is a little bit different. Okay. So, you know, doing, nailing it down is, is hard. This is homegrown, even though it's a factory. This is homegrown. You're doing it from your heart and your life, right? How did you get into this? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, I was about 25 and uh, just woke up to uh, say the raw food, local food, good food movement, and uh, I could see the truth in it. So that truth really resonated when I was taking a certain direction in my life, and so the passion is just natural at that point. Uh, I started with some juicing, some raw vegan, gluten free. I think I remember you from one of my classes too. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I you did the did. whole route. I sure did. Yeah. Yeah, and so I really just at that point wanted to, res I needed to respond to what people really want the most. And while juicing, people really want juicing, that it's still a challenging industry. And uh, I, so is kombucha. Kombucha is a challenging industry too, but people have said yes, and they demand it. Cool. Cheers to that. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's open a few bottles. I have to do it. No, you just hold it for a second. Let's see what we get. We'll open. Uh, we'll open elderberry and hops first. Elderberry, sweet. Can you see it? Yep. We'll see what we got. Ooh, oh, that's a pop. Like good pop. That's yeah. a good pop. Good pop. It's got a good. Okay, fizz. Yeah. Can I sip each one? Yeah, I'm let's. Just joking. I'll test each one for everybody. Let's see how we do with the dry hop. Oh yeah, that's a pop. Oh my god. Good pop. How is it? I'm the tester for everybody. <laughs> it's not all about the pop. It's got a lot to do so with it though. Well, you know what? It's, I take it back. It's all about the pop. It is all about the pop. <laughs> that one's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So. So how much do you drink a day? Pop. I, how much do I drink a day? About two thirds of a bottle. Okay. That's yeah. reasonable. About two servings. Because in the beginning you do get addicted to it because your body needs the good bacteria, but then you kind of level off to what you should be doing comfortably and everybody's different. Yeah, I think that's true. And one of the big things I think that uh, people could, could realize is that kombucha complements a rich diet. And there's so many people, especially in our common culture that eat a rich diet who could benefit from drinking right. tons of kombucha and other people might be a little more sensitive Well initially I think you need a lot when your body finds a full comfortable balance with it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Alright so here we go. We're all gonna cheers to, the, to what's, what are we cheersing to? Uh, we're cheersing to the best kombucha made in Chicago. I'll Ooh, definitely whoa. cheers to that. Holy cow. In, in Chicago. In the country. In the world. In the world. <laughs> Yay. Cheers to you. Cheers. That is really ah, amazing. Was that not ladylike? Oh, like, this is, ah, yeah, I've never had this one. The Palo That's Santo. Palo Santo. You can't, man. I've never had the Palo Santo, I, I swear. You gave me the ginger turmeric before. I didn't, I, okay. I've well, never had this. Really right. <laughs> this one's really good. That one's infused with the Palo Santo wood chips. It's really simple. We we get the Palo Santo wood chips, we chop it up in pieces, we extract the flavor out Are of it with kombucha, wow. and then 
the Palo Santo actually does the rest. The flavor wow. just comes out. It does it itself. So we really don't do anything. Cheers to that. <laughs> Woo! Cheers. Awesome. Okay. Good pop. Told you it was the best. Well, I'm amazed. I mean, that place was awesome. You could totally tell his passion and everything and he puts in into it. And he's in such integrity. That's totally. What it's to it isn't just a commercial brand out there. There is total integrity for us in this product. Totally. I agree. And I love this brand. I never tried, or this flavor. Oh, that flavor, Paul Santo, yes. Yeah, I have. never had it, so. Mmm. Successful trip. We got to go back soon. And tell us where you want us to go next. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, we'll we're going to go all over you. Chicago and let you guys know. Infinite all us. All over the world. You just <laughs> opened up that whole vortex. Later. Bye.